So the next thing that I'm going to tell you is basically the secret of getting a job in 2022. And after several rounds of interviews, everything worked out and I finally got my second job offer. If you guys are looking for a job change, but you're really happy with your current company and you don't want to change your company, then you can just What's up YouTube, it's Savant here and welcome back to my channel. So a couple of months ago, I made a video where I told you that I got three job offers in Canada and that too without even applying. So here I am making this video for you and if you are an international student who's planning to come to Canada or you're already in Canada as a new immigrant and you're looking for a job or you're looking to just change your job, then this video will be very beneficial for you because today I'll tell you how I went about changing my jobs just a few months back in January 2022. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and also give this video a big thumbs up because that gives me a lot of motivation to make more such videos for you with that being said let's start this video so first of all let me just tell you a little bit about my background so i came to canada as an international student in 2013 and i did my bachelor's in computer engineering from university of alberta and for the last four years, I have been working here in Toronto in the tech industry. So recently, I just started thinking about switching my jobs and exploring what all different opportunities are available out there. And since I already have a few years of experience now, so I thought this was probably the right time to look at other opportunities and just see what all is out there. And eventually I ended up switching my jobs and I got three job offers from really good companies. And this video is going to be all about how I got those three job offers and that too without even applying. So if you are someone who's looking for a job in Canada, then this video will tell you everything about the job search process and how can you also get your dream job in Canada. So how was the job search process? Now, even though I changed my jobs in January 2022, the actual job search process process began at least three or four months before that. So the very first thing that I did was that I updated my LinkedIn profile and also my resume. And also, as I keep saying in a lot of my videos that LinkedIn is the biggest job search platform in the world. And you should always keep your LinkedIn profile up to date because recruiters are always searching for people who have specific skills and you never know which recruiter will reach out to you asking if you want to work for their company. And that's exactly what I did. I looked at all the different projects that I worked on in the last four years. I looked at all my achievements and all the accomplishments that I had in my previous company and how I progressed as a software engineer in the last four years. And I made sure to highlight all these things on my LinkedIn profile and also on my resume. The next thing that I did was that I started researching about the companies that I would want to work for. Now, this I think is the most underrated part of the job search process because not a lot of people put in a lot of effort in researching about companies. But I, on the other hand, like to do a lot of in-depth research about the companies that I'm applying to or the companies that I'm interviewing for, because these are the companies that I'm potentially going to devote a lot of precious years of my life to. So I want to make sure that I'm making the best decision possible. So always make sure to do your research on LinkedIn and look for company reviews on Glassdoor and Indeed just to understand what the current and the previous employees of the company think about the company and is it the right cultural fit for you or not. I also talked to a lot of my friends who had recently changed their jobs so that I could understand the current job market scenario and just to understand what sort of salary can I expect based on my experience. And based on all this research, I compiled a list of companies that I would want to work for so that later on when I actually start applying for jobs, I don't waste a lot of my time. In addition, to doing company research, I also started looking into job interview patterns just to understand what all is asked during job interviews so that I can prepare accordingly. Since I'm in the software engineering domain, so I had to look at behavioral interviews and also prepare for my technical interviews, including practicing coding questions on lead code or hacker rank, etc. Okay, so now let's look at the meaty part of this video. How did I get my first two job offers? So the next thing that I'm going to tell you is basically the secret of getting a job in 2022. So the very first thing that you have to do is create your LinkedIn profile and fill in all the details as I've mentioned in this video. And now this next part is extremely important. What you have to do is you have to go to your LinkedIn profile and you have to click on open to option. And then in there you have to select finding a new job option. Now what this will do is it will tell all the recruiters that you are interested in looking for a new job or looking for a change and based on your work experience and the skills that you've mentioned on your LinkedIn profile, the recruiters will reach out to you if they really like your profile. And I have personally experienced this and recruiters do reach out to you based on your work experience or your educational qualifications and your skills. So make sure to update your LinkedIn profile with all the skills and all the experiences that you've had. It will definitely help recruiters from top companies 
discover your profile. So my first job offer was from a fintech company here in Toronto and I had never heard of this company before. So basically what happened was that the founder recruiter from a tech recruiting agency here in Toronto saw my profile on LinkedIn and he was really impressed by my profile and he thought that my profile was a perfect match for a role at this fintech company that he was hiring for in Toronto. So this is basically how it all began. I first interviewed with the recruiter himself and then he passed on my reference to the actual company, the fintech company and then I had to meet with the recruiters from that fintech company and then I had to go through all the interview steps and eventually I got my first job offer. However, around the same time, another recruiter from another company reached out to me on LinkedIn. But this time, the interesting thing was that this recruiter was from a company that was already on my list of companies that I had created during my research. And that's why I was super excited for this opportunity. And then I just started interviewing. And after several rounds of interviews, everything worked out and I finally got my second job offer. Now, at the same time, there were recruiters from other companies also that were approaching me. However, I did not personally pursue those opportunities because because either I was not interested in that specific role that they were offering or the company reviews were not that great. So I did not want to spend a lot of time on such companies. So maybe after the initial discussions or after the first round of interviews, I did not pursue those opportunities. Now this job search experience was very different from the time when I was looking for my first job in Canada. Now if this was my first job or if I did not have any experience, then I would have definitely had to apply for a lot more jobs. But since I already had a few years of experience, so in this case, recruiters reach out to me based on my LinkedIn profile and based on my past experience. And I remember when I was applying for my first job in Canada, it was such a stressful process. It was such a long process. I had to apply for so many companies, probably hundreds of companies, and it took me at least six or seven months to get my first job. So that experience was a completely different experience. And if you guys want to watch a video on how I got my first full-time job in Canada, then let me know in the comments below because that's a story of its own. Okay, so now let's talk about how I got my third and final job offer. So this third job offer was actually very unexpected. So what happened was that after I got my first two job offers, I went back to my current company at that time and I very honestly told them that this is what the situation is. Uh, these recruiters have reached out to me from these really good companies and uh, this is what they're offering me in terms of compensation, in terms of benefits and also in terms of career growth. And the reason why I did this was because I really liked working for my previous company. It's a really cool tech company here in Toronto and I got an opportunity to learn so many things during my tenure at that company. And I was also a top performing employee of that company and the company also really liked me and they did not want to lose me as an employee. So that's why they made a counter offer to me. So this is also a really good option for you guys. If you guys are looking for a job change, but you're really happy with your current company and you don't want to change your company, then you can just go back to your company with your new job offers and try to honestly explain your situation to them. And, and who knows, they might offer you a new role or a higher compensation if that's what you're looking for. So it's definitely worth a try. However, in my case, I wanted to try something new and take on new challenges. And even though it was a really great company, I ended up taking one of the other two job offers. So can you guys guess which job offer did I actually end up choosing? Offer one or often two? Let me know in the comments below. And you will also find the answer in the comment section. So make sure to check it out. And I hope now you have some clarity on how to go about your job search process in Canada. And if you have any questions, then you can ask your questions in the comment box. Or you can also reach out to me on Instagram at shivansingla119. And I'll be happy to answer all your questions. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And also give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.